r slash ask reddit what is a monthly subscription that is worth every penny living on the streets a 11 dollars a month planet fitness membership is well worth it for the showers alone tacos backslash muffled mariachi noises on the background backslash does latvia even have a flex i mean we have an interesting language i guess but i don't know if we have a flex ancient greece science arts philosophy medicine amongst others modern greece suvlaki and moussaka are great everything else is shit vietnam and war against invaders we defeated some of the most powerful forces in the world at the time including the mongols four times and the us why are you speaking respectfully i have a weekly delivery of fresh vegetables from local suppliers it's a bit more expensive than going to a shop but they are fresh and taste amazing even friends recognize that the carrots are way more intensive in taste. What's the subscription? Just something your local suppliers offer, or is it something larger? A library card. Edit, wow, I didn't expect this to blow up like it did. Yes, you get your library card free. However, libraries are partly funded from us paying our property taxes slash city council rates. Even if you're renting part of the landlord's mortgage goes to escrow, which pays the property taxes for your rental. A wise man once told me that having fun isn't hard when you've got a library card. With Libby. I use my library card so much more after I discovered Libby. Monthly. Mine's free. Hell yeah library gang. Not a monthly subscription, but $100 every 5 years for TSA prec heck and global entry is the best money I've ever spent in terms of time saved. I'm a fan of water, electricity, and garbage removal. If I'm really splurging then natural gas. I am about 3 trips into my TSA pre-check, and it is delightful. Of course, we already had all these features before they took them away from us then sold them back for the price of our personal information, but here we are. Tons of credit cards reimburse that too. It's a game changer for international travel. Stop telling people. You'll ruin it for the rest of us. The great courses. College level lectures on a variety of topics. Intellectually rewarding. Canopy and my library card gets me a ton of these for free. I use Spotify while working 8 to 10 hours per day, 5 days a week. Easiest money I've ever spent avoiding commercials while listening to whatever I want. I bought the family plan so that me and all my friends can listen to music ad free and send each other songs to listen to. I've got my two best friends, my little sister, my dad, and me on there. Best thing I've ever subscribed to makes me feel really good too when I see them enjoying their music ad free. My Spotify plus Hulu deal I still have as a former college student at $11 slash month for both. My gym membership through AAA, Active and Amp, Fit Direct deal, which is $28 slash month for access to a bunch of gyms in my area. Same on the Spotify plus Hulu deal. Happily pay each month. We got this deal for $9.99 because Spotify was promoting that if we signed up for their subscription we would get Hulu for free. Never cancelling. Hey big spender over here. My Planet Fitness membership. Started going in September 4x slash week and have lost about 20 pounds so far. It's such an immense stress reliever and I am feeling great about my progress and strength gain. That's great, keep it up. Not a monthly subscription but I love my annual Costco subscription because I love the quality of customer service and their better wages for employees. I was so proud of Costco. One of their locations unionized and the company's response was basically we failed our employees because they decided a union was necessary. Spotify. People complain about the price and slash or free version but I almost use it every day and more than every other app. Not just music but podcasts. Helps make the commute easier. Spotify is the one thing I use every single day. There's never a day I don't put on music. Pimsleur. $14 slash month for unquestionably the best language learning program slash app in existence. Completely and utterly blows away stuff like Duolingo, Babbel, etc. Do a single month of a language before visiting a country that primarily speaks it and you'll be blown away by just how much it helps. You may not be striking up detailed conversations with native speakers, but you can absolutely get around and say plus understand all the stuff a tourist needs. Game changer for when I visited Italy. I'm on the wait list for it at my library. I've heard good things. I know I'm going to catch shit for this, but AARP really has saved me a lot on travel, insurance, and a couple of other things. I'm in my 30s so just the comedy of the card in my wallet is worth the subscription price to me. My local movie theater chain offers 3 movies per week for $20 per month. 
They also offer a refillable popcorn buckets that's live for like 5 months for $30. Fantastic deal. The cost of a one year subscription can easily be made up in a single hotel stay. Totally worth it. Kindle Unlimited is awesome for the wife and I. We read about 175 books per year. I have it, but all the new or interesting titles seem to cost extra. 175 books? WTF? I am a slow reader, but my best year has been like 20 and that was almost all my free time. Are you retired? I'm glad this service works well for you but is there a reason you don't use Libby and just read for free? Mila May app on my phone. It's $2.99 a month and it has tons of recipes for meals. It creates a shopping list for you and has a reminder each week to help create your weekly menu before you go grocery shopping. It then has very effective recipes that are super easy to follow with in-app timers for you to keep you on track. I hate how we have to subscribe now, we can't buy software. I thank god my workplace supplies me with Photoshop for, you know, work. Which is what I use it for, of course, exclusively. Just for work. Nothing else. Getting it myself would be a very expensive subscription, but then I wouldn't do that as as I say I use it exclusively for work. The New Yorker. Just kidding. You will end up with a stack of good looking magazines you didn't get around to reading. We put them in the bathroom. So I end up reading each article, usually in their entirety, but out of order and over multiple days so they don't really make sense. I find it quite enjoyable. My wife and I have Regal Unlimited. $19 slash MO for unlimited movies at the nicest theater in town. We love it. Can confirm. But you do get a free toad. Not a personal problem, and I'm not sure it really counts as a subscription, but I'm going to say, birth control. The subscription that could get many developing countries out of poverty. Audible has been an amazing subscription for me. I used Audible credits to pay for lecture series through great courses on several different subjects. I took CLEP exams on these subjects to knock out some of my general education requirements in college. Audiobooks are amazing if you want to read but don't have the time to sit down and do it. So many people are missing out on this huge industry of media. If you have a library card, Libby offers a ton of stuff for free. Game Pass I would cancel every television streaming service I have before I would cancel my Game Pass. Same. I don't have an Xbox. I have Game Pass for PC and love it. Thinking of cancelling some other services and getting Ultimate so I can play more games and play on my quest. Audible. However, never be a permanent subscriber. There are always promos for either free months or a series of months for $5. Just use those and unsub sometime during the last month. You'll get another promo offer a couple months later. My local movie theater has bed bugs. Library. Lifetime free membership. Canva. I scrolled way iii too far to find this. If you have pretty much any kind of business it's worth it. It's Photoshop for people with little or no artistic training. Allows me to create anything I need. I love it so much. Jelly of the month. It's the gift that keeps on giving the whole year. That is the gift that just keeps on giving. Cinemark Movie Club, $11 a month. Free ticket each month 20 25 percent discount on concessions, buy tickets online with no fee and earn rewards that can be redeemed for additional free tickets. Not Adobe shit, that's for certain. In the 1990s, Rolling Stone magazine offered lifetime subscriptions for $50. I got it and I still get them free every month. When I move I fill out a change of address form and they keep sending them to the new residents. Over 25 years so far. My local gas station chain called Sheets has unlimited fries for $9.99 a month, solid fries too. If you like documentaries and learning, Curiosity Stream is well with the $30 a year that I pay for it. Only problem is that the content is so interesting that I can't watch while working. Honestly drop out. There is a new show called Very Important People and it's hilarious and just the second episode itself was well worth the $6. My dumbass has been searching for a service called Honestly Drop Out. Not monthly, but Costco. VPN. Bitwarden for $10 a year. Insane that it's that cheap for the service it offers. iCloud. It just backs up everything and I don't even have to think about it. To settings, layout of my home screen etc. The hide my email feature alone is worth the cost. Everything else is just a bonus. TSA pre and amp, New York Times puzzles. Spotify. 
LMAO I did not expect to see sheets at the top of this thread. I used to work at one. My co-worker got this subscription and she would get an order of fries right before her shift started, during her break, and right after she got off work since it renews like every 4 hours. She was going through some hardcore financial stuff and this subscription saved her from going hungry all day for months. Uh, I remember joining premium a few years ago and it was great to lose the podcast ads, but in the past 6 months it seems like more podcasts are adding their own ads, and now there's a non-skippable ad format in the app, noticed it in the ringer podcasts. The song downloads are great, though. Spotify premium also now includes 15 hours of audiobook listening per month. South Africa The Kingdom of Hawaii, and to this day, the state of Hawaii, has our flag in the corner of theirs, not because we colonized them, but because they really liked us. Yeah. The rulers of Hawaii were hoping that it prevent the us from bothering us, but as you can clearly see, that didn't work out so well. Canada Largest quantity of fresh water in the world. Canada has a crazy number of lakes. Of the 1.42 million lakes around the world with a size of over 0.1 square km, Canada is home to a whopping 62% of them. 1 Canada, 879,800. 2 Russia, 201,200. 3 USA, 102,500. 4 China, 23,800. Big, abundant resources but small population, at successfully landed on the south side of the moon, crowdfunded, for less than the price it took to make the movie Interstellar. It's more of a flex on the language nerd world, but Frankenstein's monster of a language as a vernacular. Respectfully speaking, if you're going to use it, a gym membership. South Africa, we have the most rugby world cup trophies and phenomenal nature, Kruger National Park, Big Five, Drakensberg Mountains, Kalahari and some of the best surf in the world. We also have s lot of great white sharks. In Romania we have a sculpture of a potato on a spike and decent internet speeds. Quietly adding Romania into my travel plans. It is a big potato. Link. Poutine. And maple syrup. Sometimes together. Best of the maple syrup is applied to bacon, then bacon is applied to poutine. We produce the world's best cinnamon. It's Sri Lanka. You probably didn't even know we exist. Apparently it has the most valuable rated footballers born here. But I don't like football. Flexing on the world is kind of our whole thing. Th Hello everyone. Thanks for sticking to the end of this video. I really appreciate it. I just wanted to humbly ask you to subscribe to the channel. According to my statistics, 100% of my viewers in the past 28 days are not subscribed. I have always wanted this channel to reach 1000 subscribers, and if you want to support and be a part of that, subscribe. It's free and it's an awesome way to support the channel. Thanks again, Reddit glitch out.